Hello, welcome back to another installment of Mega Goaltending's Distance Development Drill Series. Justin Johnson here with Mega Goaltending. And today we're going to talk about the concept of covering the puck. Uh, I've actually seen a number of people get seriously hurt uh, in hockey games or in practices where they uh, put themselves in a vulnerable position in covering the puck. And so I really want to address this uh, area of the game because it's an important part in controlling the game and controlling the puck, uh, but it's also an important part in keeping uh, goaltenders safe out there. So we'll take a couple of different uh, looks at what are some acceptable ways in stopping that puck and, and uh, getting a whistle. And then also we'll take a look at a drill that's kind of fun for the kids to do uh, to get this technique down. So first, I'll have Kent drop down to his knees here. Let's say he's covered a puck. The, puck, the, the, the ideal way to cover a puck is to have our, our glove firmly wrapped on top of the puck and then our stick blade covering in front, protecting against any kind of sticks or jabbing or skates that are coming after it. Another way, and sometimes in a game situation, we don't have the luxury of getting our stick in front of it. Sometimes we just have to get a moment where we can get the glove out and, and cover it. This is also acceptable uh, in, in covering the puck. The one area that we do not want to do uh, as you notice here, Kent's very solid, he's on all fours, he's got a good solid base if people fall on top of him or run into him. The one thing he's doing here very well is keeping his head up. It's protecting uh, himself, he's aware if people are coming at him, he can brace himself for it, and he's not just you know, hiding from the play. So what I see a lot of young kids do is they gather this puck and then all of a sudden they bury their head down. And so now the back of their neck, the back of their head is exposed to the sticks, to people falling on top of them, and they have no idea what's about to happen to them just because their head's buried. So we want to avoid this. Another thing that we can do is that let's say that we've, we've ended up on our stomach and that puck is out in front of us and we go and reach out and we grab it. We want to kind of pull it close towards us and then almost like in a seal position where we press our body up. Again, this keeps the head away from the dangerous area. We can see what's going on around us, protects our body from any kind of danger that's out there. We don't want to be burying our head in this situation either. So these are some tips on how to make sure that we get that puck covered in a, in a safe way and also a very technically sound way. Now let's take a look at a drill that will help us do this. I'm just going to grab some pucks. Uh, I don't have my stick with me, and what we're going to do is there's a couple different ways we can do this. I'm just going to have Kent start in his normal uh, positions, and then I'm just going to toss some pucks over his shoulder. And when I toss it over, it'll kind of come out of different areas for him. He's going to have to find it and then go quickly to gather it and cover it in the ways we just talked about. So here's what it looks like. Good. Finding all fours, getting to it quickly, corralling it. Good. And now let's try a couple where he's down in his butterfly already. Good. So a very simple drill that's really focusing on that quality technique in gathering that puck, getting that whistle. You could also mix in some variations here where you have them poke check the puck away uh, or sweep check the puck away. All very good options for as we, as we work on controlling that puck in a game situation and doing so in a safe manner. If you like this drill or others like it, check out megagoaltending.com. Once again, thanks for taking the time to check us out and thanks for taking the time to work with your goaltenders.